you find yourself boating up Middle River in the east coast town of Essex, you can of course fish for your own dinner, but you'll probably have more fun if you dock your boat at the Crazy Tuna Bar and Grill. Going places by car is just boring. But when you get in the boat and pull up to the dock and walk 50 feet to your cable, it, it just doesn't get any better than that. With its bright umbrellas, tiki bar vibe, and bold menu, Crazy Tuna brings a touch of Key West to Essex. Key West Essex? Oh, that's good. <laughs> Jeff Stone and Susan Sabino work to keep the beer flowing. I'm wrong. The food finger licking. I was eating those ribs and they were delicious. I was going for the napkin, but instead I just had to lick the fingers because I didn't want to get rid of that taste. And they make sure everybody knows your name. Rosie! God, Jeffrey! Are you crazy? But when booze, land, and sea combine at Crazy Tuna, you get the beer and brought muscles. Mike Harris is the man responsible for coaxing these babies out of their shell. What I love about mussels are that they're rusty. A lot of people just eat them with their hands, which is great. It's great to eat on the water while you're watching boats pass by. He starts with some oil in a hot pan. Really hot. Let that flame die down a little bit. Mike manpowers the pan with precision. Get them nice and hot. They're going to open soon. Just when you think a mussel's going overboard, he pulls it back in. Butter, a little bit of salt and pepper. Now I'm going to add the flour. Once it comes to a boil, it's going to act as a thickener. Just a tablespoon of that. We'll give it a stir. Now we're going to have some beer. This is a local favorite. It's a light, hoppy beer, which is going to give the muscles a lot of flavor. We're going to add some chicken stock. Give it a little more flavor. A little more liquid allow it to boil. Can you check see that all of them are opening up. Now we add some sweet Italian sausage. After the mussels soak up all that porky beer juice, Mike takes them to the plate. Then we go to plating. I want to get it all in there. Juice, the mussels, and then the sausage. Add some Maryland crab seasoning on top as a garnish. Finish it with a dinner roll. And these are beer and broth mussels, the best mussels you can get in Maryland. The mussels were absolutely delicious. In fact, I had one that had two in it. It was like a bonus. This is the only place I will come for mussels. They're always huge, they're always delicious. Pillowy, buttery, little sacks of perfection here. The beer added something to that dish that I didn't know that I wanted, and it was perfect. I think it's a great pairing, especially when we're using a Maryland beer like this and uh, the Bratwurst. Just the flavors just mix well. Mussels are really good, tender, nice and garlicky. You got the bread, you want to dip that in that juice. Absolutely, that's the best part. I'd say here's the crazy tuna. I, I, I love just coming here. I don't feel like I'm coming to work. I feel like I'm going to a party. <laughs> You got the tropical drinks, you got the tropical food, you got everything. And it just brings about this whole atmosphere that makes you kind of feel like I'm back down in the islands out in the, in the Caribbean. But no stories. What happens at the tuna stays at the tuna. Rosie! I'm going to say that. So the next time you want brisket top.